everyone, my name is Zakaran, and welcome to my video and podcast, Nothing is Personal, where I talk about the absolute cosmic fact that nothing that anyone does or has ever done to you uh, has anything to do with you. Everything that everyone thinks, says, or does only has to do with their beliefs and perceptions and has nothing to do with you personally. So, all the times you have felt unloved, abandoned, abused, etc. has nothing to do with you. So, enjoy my video and podcast and the absolutely amazing, profound teachings you're going to uh, uh, get. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, hi, my name is Zakiron and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. In my videos, podcasts, articles, books, seminars, and sessions, I reveal the master keys of success, business, money, leadership, relationship, and the law of attraction, so that you can create and attract to yourself the happiness, health, wealth, and abundance, and freedom that you desire. So please go and check out my uh, amazing supportive goodies, lots more videos, lots more, lots more audios, and podcasts at zakiron.com. And if you'd like to receive my free book and video series and audio series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom, go to freekeysofsuccess.info so that you can help empower yourself to create more fun, money, and freedom in your life. All right, here we go. All right, welcome to my video and podcast, Nothing is Personal. Now, I have wonderful news for you that is going to give you massive relief and take the entire weight of the world off of your shoulders. Nothing that anyone has ever done or will do or, ha or has, has anything to do with you, personally. Your wife leaving you, your father abandoning you, etc., etc., has nothing whatsoever to do with you, personally. Anyone else's actions or decisions has... has Anything to do with has 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 nothing to do with your self worth or how much you are loved. I don't care how many people have abandoned or left you, broke up with you, cheated on you, betrayed you, disrespected you, etc., etc. No experience that you have ever had where you feel like you have been victimized or disrespected or abused, etc. None of these experiences has anything to do with you and your worth, or your beauty, or your love, or your kindness, or your lovability, or anything else that you could imagine are the reasons that those experiences happen to you because of your personality or flaws. You know, why, why somebody doesn't like you or doesn't love you, etc., etc. There's nothing wrong with you. Did you get that? I'm going to say it again. There is nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. And you don't need fixing. You have been perfect since the day you were born, or really even since the, since the nanosecond you were created, and you will always be perfect. Now, other people's choices, actions, and decisions completely, 100%, come from their own beliefs and perceptions about themselves. And you are just a vibrational match to that belief, positive or negative, or you are not, which is why they are, or are in your life or not, and what they do, and so on and so forth. If you are a vibrational match, then you have matching experiences with people. For instance, if your father left your family at an early age, you may have come up with some cockamamie idea that it was somehow your fault. And your father left because he doesn't love you, and therefore you're unlovable, etc., etc. And then your relationships with men would have a similar vibration. They appear to love you, but soon abandon you or abuse you. And you're again left alone without your father's love like when you were a child. But if you had not personalized your father leaving you when you were young 
and you had realized that what anyone else does has nothing to do with you personally and your worth and nothing to do with your lovability, etc., then you would be perfectly happy in your life regardless of the actions of your father and you would have wonderful, healthy relationships. So, any situation is a matter uh, of how your belief or perception about it is. If your self-worth factor was a 10 from the start because you were surrounded by masterful role models who understood that their self-worth is unquestionable and is priceless, then you would you, you would have gotten that, you would have been taught that, you would have remembered that. And then you would realize that your self-worth is also uh, not in question and you are a priceless gem as well. <clears throat> and then regardless of the actions of others, you would remain fully centered, happy and content, always reveling in your own clarity that you are magnificent, regardless of the actions of others. And even though more than likely you did not grow up surrounded by masterful, unconditionally loving role models who had a clear understanding of their priceless worth, no matter how many traumatic experiences you've had in your life, no matter what your current self-worth factor is, whether it is a 1 or a 10, all you have to do is surrender to your awesomeness, because that is your natural state. You were taught the opposite, that you are faulty and sinful and a whole list of limiting beliefs that are all absolute lies. So, since they're all lies, that means you don't have to do anything about them. You don't have to get rid of these beliefs and these patterns because they are not real and they have nothing to do with you. They were just ideas that people threw at you and you accepted them because they were coming from people that supposedly loved you. But they're just beliefs, they're just ideas, and they are not necessarily real at all. They were just something that was taught to you. But just like anything else that you previously believed, but when you find out that it is wrong, that it is complete poppycock, or you find out that it is an absolute lie, or that somebody's just got their own agenda, you just let it go. Sure, you may feel like you have been abused because people you trusted were lying to you, uh, but to them... You know, in their minds, it was probably the truth. So, in, in their eyes, they were actually trying to help you. They believed they were trying to help you. So, again, don't take anything personally because you really don't know what's going on in other people's heads. It doesn't matter who is doing it, what belief they have, or what lies, or ludicrous judgments, or limited perceptions that the people around you have or the religions have, or that your family has, or the government has. It is not personal, and it has nothing to do with you. None of it has anything to do with you. And it is not your job to make them all see the light. It is not your job to shove your truth down their throats like they shoved their lies down yours. And, and it's not your job to... Make them pay for their lies. Um, you know, even if they didn't know better. You know, it's not your job to enlighten people. Whether people think, say, and do is none of your business. So get your nose out of their business. Also see my other video and podcast I just did. Mind your own beeswax. I don't care how, quote, personal... The experience is why people do what they do has nothing to do with you, except you being a vibrational match which attracted that behavior. Why your girlfriend or your boyfriend left you and screwed your best friend and took your dog and your cat and crashed your truck, 
uh, etc. has nothing to do with you. And it doesn't matter why they left you or why they did what they do. Because again, it has nothing to do with you. That's none of your business. Whether they truly love you or not. Again, that is none of your business. It has nothing to do with you. It only has to do with their beliefs and their perceptions, etc. <clears throat> your self-worth and love ability, love ability, that's a great name, great word. Your self-worth and love ability factors have nothing to do with anyone else and how much they value you or love you. People can't love you and value you if they don't love themselves. It's not, and it's not anyone else's job to like you or love you or approve of you or appreciate you or value you or admire you or respect you, etc. And those people can't do those things anyway if they don't like and love themselves and respect themselves and appreciate themselves, etc. So, again, it's not anyone else's job to like, love, appreciate you so that you can feel good about yourself and love yourself and experience your value. You need to learn how to love yourself and, and get and value yourself regardless of what anybody else is doing. So what it is your job to do is to love yourself and value yourself and appreciate yourself regardless of what anyone else is doing. Release the world now from the prison you put them in to be your slaves, to think and act in certain ways so that you can feel good about yourself. If you hadn't adopted the lie of unworthiness and hadn't been trained by the people around you that it was your job to make them happy and make sure that you please them so that you could be happy and they wouldn't punish you, and, it was, and if you realize that it was only your job to please yourself, then regardless of the actions and beliefs and desires and ideas and thoughts of other people, you would be happy. But regardless of how far, how, how far you were trained away from your own priceless, amazing self-worth, you can reconnect to that priceless magnificence right now now without doing anything without trying to get rid of anything etc you don't need anyone or anything to help you get back to your priceless awesomeness because your awesomeness hasn't gone anywhere you haven't lost your awesome magnificence you haven't lost your immense worth you just temporarily pinched yourself off from it so that you could play the game of contrast. You just temporarily pinched yourself off from it because you believed bullshit that other people were teaching you. Ideas that you were somehow faulty and sinful. All complete lies. <clears throat> so, you know, and you adopted these things to play the game of contrast, which causes you to desire improvement. Contrast is great because it shows you what you don't like, and then you can focus on what you do want, which is natural, which helps you to create what you want. It helps you create first desire improvement and then create improvement. Um, and it causes you to step into your power of creation to create those desires into your physical reality. <clears throat> and it causes you contrast, not contrast in knowing what you don't like, helps you to get focused. Which causes you to remember that you create every second of your reality and there's no such thing as a victim and all the lies and abandonment and disrespect and abuse and lack of support, etc. that you're whinging about and, and poor, poor me about all the stuff you believed was wrong and bad and should be destroyed were not real things at all. They were just agreed upon beliefs. They were just agreed upon things that you created and manifested because you believed in them. They're just illusions that you got to play with. And that's a really key ingredient. you got to understand that all the stuff that you don't like, and even all the stuff that you do like, of course, 
It's just stuff to play with. It's just part of the game. Without a little bit of contrast, playing the game would be no fun. Without a contrast, the movie is boring. And when you understand all of this, then you can see the priceless value in the contrast of life. You can see the priceless value in your father, quote, abandoning you. And you can see the value in the abusive relationship or the jealous relationship. And you can see the value in losing that job, etc., etc. Because every experience you have ever had, regardless of how good or bad you perceive it to be, was a priceless, valuable experience that gave you more clarity about what you want. Every bit of contrast, every experience of, I hate this, I don't like that, I don't want that, has caused you to launch rockets of desire, of love, of, of I love this, and I like that, and I don't want that, but I like this, and I want more of that. The question is, are you still focused upon that terrible contrast, that terrible drama that, that has now given you great clarity? Or are you, you know, are you just kind of focused on your poor, poor me? I need therapy, wham, 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 come save me. Or are you focused upon the joy of the clarity you now have about knowing what you do like and do want? If you're still focused upon the contrast, what you don't like and don't want, and being a victim, and I hate him or her for that, then you're just going to keep attracting more things that match that vibration of things you don't like and don't want, and people that do crappy things like that person did to you. You can't find the solution when all you do is focus on the problem. But as soon as you start focusing on the clarity you have about how clear you are about what you love and what you want uh, and what you appreciate, then you can leave the contrast behind and even see the value in the contrast for what it has birthed in you. And then you will attract more of the things you like, love, and appreciate. So, now, here is what you should have been taught as soon as you had a grasp upon vibration, feeling, and language. You should have been taught that you are perfect and magnificent, just the way you are. You should have been taught that you are love, that you are power, that you are creation itself. You should have been taught that you are source in a body. You are God in a body. You are an immortal spirit expressing itself in a human body. And you came here for the joy of creation. You are a spirit having a human experience. You're not a human having a spiritual experience. <clears throat> Regardless of what any human thinks, says, or does... You are loved by Source, and you are loved by the Source, the Higher Self, whatever you want to call it, of every human, regardless of each person's current ability to express that love that they truly do have for you or not. You should have been taught that you are here to please yourself, not to please others. And that it is not your job to please others, and it is no one else's job to please you. That should have been taught to you in kindergarten. You should have been taught that you have no cosmic spiritual obligations to do anything for anyone. You have no spiritual responsibilities to prove anything to anyone, contrary to what the humans upon this planet may believe. You are not a puppet on a string. <clears throat> Here to prove your worth to some controlling, vengeful overlord. 
that is often referred to as God. Bum, 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 bum. You should have been taught that source, God, whatever you want to call it, uh, is nothing but love. Did you get that? I'm going to say it again, and I should say it a thousand times. Source, God, is nothing but love. Unconditional love. Not conditional love. Unconditional love. Source loves you no matter what, no matter what you do, you can do no wrong. You should have been taught that source is love, source, God, love is the sum of all things, which means that you are source. So source, God, all that is, same thing, is 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 all one thing, even though it's all little separate things. So you are God. You are source. Nothing is separate from God source. There is no such thing as evil. So again, that's another thing you should have been taught. You already know it. All these things that I'm saying you should have been taught, you already know them. So you actually technically don't need to be taught them. But you should have been reminded that, about them rather than taught the opposite. So really, instead of what I should be saying, instead of you should have been taught these things, what I should be saying is you should have not been taught the opposite. So, you should have been not been taught that you're sinful. You should have been taught that you're awesome. You should have been not been taught that you are somehow cast out of heaven or some bullshit like that. And you got to get the, your self back into heaven or you're going to get punished by some evil overlord. That's all bullshit. You should have not been taught that crap. And then you would. But anyway, it's giving you good contrast. Uh, you should have been taught that there's no such thing as evil. There's no such thing as punishment. There's no such thing as judgment. I mean, it's, that's, it's all completely illogical anyway. Those are just stupid ideas that humans came up with because they felt separate from God. Uh, why would God's source judge any part of its own self anyway? It just makes no sense. It's completely ludicrous. It's completely illogical. Makes no sense whatso freaking ever. You you should have been taught, you should have been reminded that you're all powerful. In other words, you should have been not taught that you were limited. You should have been taught that you can be or do or have absolutely anything that you desire. And in fact, you are creating your desires into physical reality right bloody now. Good or bad, whatever you focus upon, God, source, the universe gives you more of that. That should have been creation 101 in kindergarten, in preschool. You should have been taught that you are free to create anything you like without judgment. And the entire universe, God, source, all that is, is there to help you every single step of the way. And you don't have to prove that you deserve it. That's more bullshit. So you should have been not been taught that you needed to prove anything to anybody. You should have been taught, you should have been reminded that you are here for the joy of creation. For the joy of evolution. You are here to delight in the contrast of life and create the improvement that is birth, birthed from this contrast for yourself. For one, top, top on the list, for the fun of creating it but also for the absolute joy of reveling in your magnificent power and your awesomeness, your awesome power as the creator that you truly are because that is who and what you truly are and that is a shitload of fun. So regardless of what anyone tells you on planet Earth, your purpose in life is joy. So that's what you should have been taught in kindergarten school school in fact that's kind of how you started out life they they you just start playing and playing and playing and then somehow they start telling you oh you're not allowed to play anymore you're supposed to work hard and you're supposed to struggle and you're supposed to sacrifice bullshit 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 you're supposed to play your entire freaking life your purpose in life is to have fun your purpose in life is joy nothing else the rest is all Bullshit and just a decision, just an idea, just a belief. You should have been taught that your purpose is not to grow spiritually because that is just inevitable. You're immortal and you're always going to grow no matter what. 
You can't help but grow because you are immortal and because you're going to keep doing this over and over again and you're going to keep creating and you're going to keep experiencing contrast and you're going to create more improvement and grow from that. And you should have been taught that the basis of life is freedom because it is. You are source, God, all that is in a human body here to delight in your immense joyful freedom to create anything that your heart desires and the result, this is, you all should, all should have also been taught that the result of life is never ending expansion. So, the purpose of life is joy. The basis of life is freedom. You're free to create whatever you want. You're here for the fun of it. The joy of creating what you want. The joy of reveling in your awesome magnificence. And then the result of that, this is what you should have been taught, or you should have not been taught the opposite, you should have been taught, reminded that the result of life is never in the ex expansion. And contrast ensures that constant expansion and growth. Because without contrast, there would be no growth. So, delight in your un unlimited power and revel in your unlimited, immense, priceless worth. Accept, embody, allow, and embrace who and what you truly are. You are source, all that is, all creation, all power, all love, all grace, all compassion, etc., etc., etc. You are everything that is good and wonderful in a human body. So, awesome master of creation, go now and be that unlimited, awesome magnificence. And create your wildest dreams into physical reality which expands this planet and expands the entire universe. And that is how important and awesome you are. So I hope you got something from this video or podcast. Please bless your friends with these amazing teachings and forward it to them. Forward it to your groups. And come to my and visit me on my website for more audios and videos and podcasts and lots of supportive goodies to help you create the absolute amazing, joyful, and abundant life of your dreams. And go get yourself a free copy of my book, audio, and video series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom, to help you create more fun money and freedom in your life at freekeysofsuccess.info. And... If you have a dream to travel the world and tick off your life list, rather than waiting till the last minute to tick off your bucket list, and you'd rather start living your life now, rather than putting your dreams on hold until you're 65 years old, and you'd like to start living your life now, and you're open to making some extra money and even achieving financial freedom, working and playing, which is what you're here on planet Earth to do, remember? Purpose of life is joy. You can make a living, living life. Having fun. And I can show you how to do that. I'll be happy to show you how to do that. So contact me now at ilovefreedom.info and let's lock, lock arms and work and play together and travel together and, and help you radically improve the quality of your life and help other people radically improve the quality of their lives. And help everybody make your dreams come true. Go to ilovefreedom.info. My name is Zakarman and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant, fun, and joyful life that you love. Thanks again for watching my video or listening to this podcast. And I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And of course, always remember to make life a holiday. Woohoo!